so then, what is up there, you beautiful people? It's your boy Juanito, here representing Juan Step Ahead Fitness. Always happy to be here talking to you all. So let's continue with our study of the Buyeco Method. Buyeco Method of Breathing encourages the buildup of carbon dioxide. So now we can talk about some of the exercises since last time we talked a little bit about the theory. It's useful to imagine a sine wave, right? So the amplitude of the wave is going to be how deep or shallow we breathe. And then the wavelength will be the space in between our breathing. The way that I find it easiest to practice the Geiko method is simply to leave a pause after your exhale. The longer that pause is, the longer that period of CO2 buildup, vasodilation, as well as lower intra-abdominal pressure. It's interesting, you know, the lower intra-abdominal pressure means that there is more ability for your blood vessels to dilate as well. So vasodilation is one of the central themes that we're aiming at with our Buyeco method. So let's take a breath in, leave a pause, a breath out, and leave a pause. So it's in, pause, out, pause, in, pause, out, pause very simple way to practice that that would be box breathing box breathing all four sides are the same length your inhale your pause your exhale your pause are all the same length so that's fun another thing that I like to do is exhale several times for one inhale so I call it ring your exhale instead of letting it all go at once you'll breathe out pause breathe out again pause out again pause generally I will use that for a triple exhale that is very useful as well because it allows you to bring your breath normalization into your physical exercise when you breathe in is usually when you're slowing yourself down during the eccentric phase of an exercise. So now we breathe out for the concentric part. We would normally breathe in, but we could use that skip during the eccentric part so that now we can get several reps with just one inhale. So that is breath normalization in exercise. So now we have box breath, we have breath normalization in exercise, we have our triple exhale, and that could of course be three or more. What we're really talking about now is segmenting your breath. So you can segment your inhale as well, where you inhale a little, pause, inhale a little more, pause, and then maybe exhale a little, pause, exhale a little, pause. So experiment with breath segmentation. This is common in pranayama practice, and it will allow us to just breathe at a slower rate with less volume. So we can increase the wavelength and hopefully also decrease the amplitude, resulting in overall less volume breathing. Another way that I'll like to practice Buyeko is I'll breathe in, hold it in, breathe out very little, and then breathe in again. Breathe out, hold it, breathe in very little. Breathe out, hold it. Breathe in as much as you can, breathe out only a little bit. And if you do this, again, we are reducing the volume of air that we breathe, only this time we're maintaining a longer duration at that higher intra-abdominal pressure which occurs when our lungs are full. I'll do the opposite as well where I exhale, almost all of my air and then inhale very little pause exhale inhale very little pause exhale so here now I'm looking to spend more time at the other end with the lower intra abdominal pressure higher pressure when we're full lower pressure when we're empty let's spend time in both places Buyeko also recommended uh, exercise during the exhale retention just like Wim Hof very interesting so we can exhale it's useful also to hold your nose while you're doing any kind of breath hold let's remember also that when we test our control pause which is the amount of time that we may comfortably wait after exhaling before we feel the urge to breathe return key word there being comfortable you don't want to be pushing yourself because then it would be called your positive maximum pause and it would be a different number but the control pause is what we'll use most often in Buyeco. So when we test that, let's hold our nose. 
just to avoid accidentally inhaling a bit subconsciously. That's another thing that happens when you exhale out of your mouth as well. A lot of times, and we spoke about with speaking too, you, we just take these short subconscious inhales and we can talk a bit. We know that when we inhale in a jerky way, in a spastic way, it stimulates our stress response. By taking a really cool, watery, relaxed inhale, we can lower our stress levels and then if we continue that and let the CO2 build up, that will even further the relaxation response. So then exercise on the exhale retention. I like to do jumping or maybe push-ups, but whatever the exercise is that you choose, you're doing it in a way, it's allowing you to build up more CO2 more quickly. So if you're having some symptoms of over breathing, like for example, your nose is very stuffy, you may want to go right into this, do some exercises during a breath hold, and that way the CO2 will normalize much more quickly, and then you can take it upon yourself to make sure that you don't go back into that hyperventilation. Let's talk also really quickly about intra-abdominal pressure. So when we do reverse abdominal breathing, we are breathing in with keeping the pressure a little bit higher. So it makes it more difficult for us to breathe in, which will help us to breathe less as well. So reverse abdominal breathing. Also, of course, our exhale will be slower as well. That's a really good way to practice Buteyko as well. Reverse abdominal breathing. And you can do any of the other exercises still using reverse abdominal breathing. So to reiterate there, instead of your belly coming out when you breathe in, your belly will come in when you breathe in and out when you breathe out. It's gonna be more difficult. It might feel a little unusual at first, but it gives you that great advantage. And it also kind of gives you like a nice way to practice working with your intra-abdominal pressure. We will talk more about intra-abdominal pressure in the near future. Look out for more videos. Guys, thank you so much for watching. It's always a pleasure.